Okay, this is part two of this. Um, I prayed to the Lord and asked Him about all these people and all these visions that they're getting, and I asked about spe specific people that are getting these. And uh, this is what the Lord told me. I had a dream, and, and I woke up at 1.35 in the morning after this dream. And uh, in this dream, I saw some old scribes and they were looking at the Torah and they were working on it and it said old official Torah men deciphering the Torah to find the date of the rapture and then I woke up and as I woke up God spoke these words to me a message to the lying prophets of Jeremiah and if you note in Jeremiah 14 14 it talks about prophets and God says those are the ones that I did not send and I did not put my words in I'll, I'll put it on my on the screen the exact quote from that but God isn't talking to a lot of these people that are claiming he's talking to them so whoever you are the Lord is judging you on every word that you say so for whatever reason you're doing this whether you know I don't know if you're doing it on purpose to scare people or whatever it is that you're doing but the Lord told me and then I asked him again I didn't put this message out because he gave me this on 4 4 12 and I didn't put it out I prayed about it again and last night again I have dreams about uh, what you guys are doing so the Lord is rebuking you and if you don't stop he's gonna stop you so I'd rather talk to you about the fact that he's coming soon and he showed me a monument to the destruction of the United States of America. Our president is against the Israelis. He gave 1.2 billion dollars, he and Hillary Clinton, to Egypt, which is being controlled by the Black Muslim Brotherhood. Those people have sworn to destroy Israel. There are people in Israel right now that are starving to death. They need another few missile batteries to stop these incoming missiles, but we can't give them that, but we can give up 1.2 million dollars to the Brotherhood and to all these other countries that hate Israel, our president, President Barack Obama, you are better be in fear of judgment. The Lord God knows what you're doing. He sees you. He can look at your dark heart. You better help Israel. And that's a word from the Lord to you, Mr. Obama. Anyway, I saw, I uh, had a dream, and I saw in a vision two guys working uh, they were like 1960 scientists with the pocket protectors and it said Dr. Keyhole and kill shot and then I woke up so I don't know what that meant and I woke up at 12.05 I fell asleep again and I saw loaves of bread being stacked they were coming out of an oven there were five loaves of bread that came out three on one side two next to it and they went up they ascended and it was 1.10 a.m. and I woke up again and I fell asleep and I put a fleece out before the Lord whether he was coming or not and he answered me and I asked him whether he was coming very soon and I gave him a date I'm not gonna give you the date and I asked him if I could see the word soon in a dream so I dream I see a picture of Israel a certain area in Israel and the desert and I see the words Golan Heights soon so I guess he is coming soon because I saw the word soon on there and it was very clear the words were I can't can't usually read words in a regular dream and I woke up right after I dreamed that and it popped out towards me boom 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 soon I asked that again a second day and I dreamed I said Lord if that's really you show me in another dream the word so and then I dreamed I was responded to somebody on one of my visions that I've had and I wrote so you have been warned so um, I laid a fleece before the Lord like Gideon did and I asked him and Gideon asked him twice and that's what I did and both times he said he's coming it's also in the Torah code in the Bible code that this is the year that the Messiah returns look at Glazerson stuff it'll show you in there then I fell asleep and I, I had this dream at 2.32 in the morning and I fell asleep again and I saw a thing that was called the Monument to the USA and it had a cross and it had a big white background behind it and there was uh, looked like smoke coming from the edge of the cross and then there was the twin towers there and it was saying uh, something of praises about America 
and this is a monument to it it's like it was gone so it said you be bad USA that's what it said so and then I woke up this was out in the back of a municipal area in a park next to a railroad track I don't know what that meant but anyway then I fell asleep and then I woke up again and then I fell asleep again and uh, I dreamed that at 535 and I dreamed a, a fifth dream that night which I woke up directly afterwards and in it I was helping uh, my wife and I had an argument and she left and so I decided I was gonna run around this block and I ran around it three times the third time a guy steps out of a car and he says look I'm building a small church will you help me I need to finish the foundation and he asked me to help him do it and he tells me how to use sand and I said but wouldn't it be better to build it out of rock and brick and he said yes it would be but I don't have time would you be willing to do that if I provide the materials and I said yes and then I woke up so what I want to say is the Lord is coming very soon very soon there's all kinds of signs out there and, and these people that are putting this stuff out about all these terrible things that are happening you know before you do that you should pray and ask the Lord is this really from you or not don't just oh I had another dream and jump on there and start putting it on the internet and scaring you know these people there's people are selling their homes families are being broke up over these dreams and visions that may come to nothing and I'll speak it right now they will come to nothing there's not going to be a huge tsunami that swamps the entire state of California that's not going to happen that's not biblical that's not in the Word of God anywhere what are you telling me you're give, you're given new revelation from God is that what it is so you know I don't want to be here in a position but the Lord told me to tell you guys so whoever you are that are doing these things please stop there is going to be a nuclear war I saw that several times okay uh, and he showed me that because that's what's going to happen the world is going to be destroyed by fire and the United States is going to come down to the ground and it's because our president and our leader so you know we need to get out if the Lord doesn't come soon and vote change things because that man that's in office right now and Hillary Clinton those two people and Biden those people are against Israel and that is wrong because they are God's chosen and he loves them our Savior came from the root and the offspring of David God loves David he said you will have a person sitting in this throne forever who's the guy sitting in it Jesus the Son of God so we need to stick with Israel go to the Israeli news site you'll see every day rockets are coming in there there was three fired out of Egypt grad rockets came into eat into Israel Eliad I think is where it was okay they're stabbing people they're killing people they're hitting people with axes do you see it on the TV never because everybody's against Israel just like the Bible said before the end of time so pray for Israel and if you're an unsaved person and you're watching this I I ask you to turn your heart over the Lord while there's still time repent of your sins Jesus died for you he is coming back and uh, I want to say that I appreciate every one of you guys that watch my channel and I'm just trying to warn you I'm not saying I'm anybody great but the Lord did tell me that he gave me this information so that I could share it with you so now I'm sharing it with you and you do with it what you want uh, please don't get on my site and try to convince me that there is no rapture or that the star of David or Israel is evil don't do that either God God bless Israel and uh, I want to encourage every one of you to spend time in the Word of God and spend time praying because that is the light that's going to be in your heart to help you and I want to say God bless all of you guys and uh, have a great day Amen. okay so real click quick um, I want to talk to you a little bit about <clears throat> what happens whenever I have a dream and how I know it's a dream from the Lord I keep a journal next to my bed and when I have these dreams sometimes I just have regular dreams just like anybody else but when it's from the Lord generally I will wake up immediately 
I'll say every time I'll wake up immediately, right after the dream. I've never had that happen before in my life, where I have a dream and I wake up immediately, right? And usually God is saying something to me afterwards, some type of script, scriptural reference or, you know, some word. So, uh, he gave me a word about all these people making all these prophecies, and he called them false prophets. And I asked him about sp specific ones that are in there every day. Something's coming out from the Lord for them. And it's a couple of women and a guy and a few other people, right? The Lord isn't happy with it. But I'm going to show you what happens when the Lord really is talking to you. I had this dream on 3 12 12, and I saw rockets going into Chevron. Israel, right? I heard about that. I heard the word Chevron and I saw rockets. I don't know if they actually hit there or what the deal is, but I know that that's old Hebron. Also, that's what they're fighting about right now. They're trying to get in there and the Israelis, their own people are stopping their people from moving in there buying property, but that is the part of the promised land that was given to them in the beginning. Then I saw the number 1508321. I mean 150821. That number happens to be the number of the document whenever they released those 1,000 some odd terrorists. All right, somebody contacted me and said, hey, that number is the number from that document when they released those. And what I heard was the death of the royal mound or mount. Okay, and I saw this blue sign in the cemetery and it had letters on it, those numbers, 150821, that was the address, and it said Old Way Road. Okay? Then I woke up, and as I was waking up, I heard the word Baku. I wrote it down. Okay? I'm going to put a PDF file so you can see that. And uh, I also heard the word Improvario Provocato. So, I wake up and, and I do the research on it and see if it's God talking to me. Now, as you know, Israel, they just captured 22 terrorists. Two days after I said this, 22 terrorists were captured. They were trying to attack Israel and the United States. They had C4 explosive. They also had machine guns, stuff like that. The second part to that thing that is revealed now is the fact that Israel bought air bases there in Baku Azerbaijan and they're going to use those to fly in uh, their planes to attack Iran if they do a strike that way they don't have to fly across any countries to refuel or anything else but our president and Hillary Clinton they they revealed that to the whole world that Israel had those bases there trying to stop them they are against Israel and that is wrong that is going to bring God's judgment that's what I saw and I saw a monument said to the United States of America like it was no more okay and I saw nuclear weapons going off I also saw our boats out there I don't put every single thing I see I've got quite a few pages of stuff here I don't put it on there because I don't want to alarm people and scare people but the Lord is not very happy about all these false prophets that are out there saying all these things and they have no proof show us some proof of anything that you've said I can show you proof of what I said the only thing I've ever said uh, that that uh, was kind of a mistake was the thing on the on uh, the rapture because I saw the gold Christmas garland. I was thinking it was by the end of the year, and the Lord told me it was the end of the year, but it's the Jewish year of 5772. He said he's coming before that year, end of the year, so I don't know. I know it says it also in the Bible code, you know, and everybody says, well, don't make any dates, don't predict anything. See, I'm just telling you what the Lord, you do with it what you want. But to me, that means, hey, I'm coming. And he's given me some other uh, things that tell me, yes, I am coming soon. So I didn't want any part of this. I was just going to be this, you know, support people on the Internet until the Lord began to tell me, you better talk to them. Otherwise, their blood is going to be on your hands. So now I'm telling you, whatever you guys want to do with it, do with it. And there are people attacking each other, like uh, Brother Dave and, and Chad are having this little war, and, and this one says this about this one, and that one says that about that one. And uh, the, these false prophets are coming to my channel saying, Oh, you get off of my false prophet. So, you guys do what you want. 
those people have been making all these announcements of things that are happening for some of them for over a year, some of them for a year and a half to two years. Their flood, that flood stuff goes all the way back to 1937 or something like that where some kid had some vision of a flood coming in and a tsunami coming in and an earthquake happened in Los Angeles. You can look it up. Okay, there is going to be earthquakes, but it's not going to be anything like you think we're going to create a, a 1,500 foot wall of water or a 2,000 foot wall of water. That may happen whenever that asteroid hits the ocean. There may be a wall of water come, but the church isn't going to experience that and surely not the, Christ, the bride of Christ. So, again, I'm going to say, don't contact me. Try to convert me from believing that the rapture is going to occur because you can't because it is going to occur. And don't try to tell me this stuff about you hate on Israel because you're wrong. So, that's how this thing happens. I see it, and then I write it down, and then it happens. So, and that's been on numerous occasions, not just Baku, but the thing where I told you in Esther, that the Lord showed me Esther going and that Esther was telling Israel that you're released. Well, what did Pres Pre uh, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu do? He went there and gave our president, after I had said this, the scroll of Esther and told, her, told him, we are free to do what we wanted to protect ourselves. That is Bible prophecy. That is God talking to somebody. Not this stuff of every night, oh, I had another dream, I had another vision, and this one, I saw a Singer sewing machine, and it was huge, and it came down and it smashed an entire city. So we got to do something about this, because I know it's going to happen. Maybe they're symbolic, what you're seeing, if God's even shown you anything. You know, as I've said before, my children wanted to see the alien from the movie Aliens. Okay, so I let them see that. And then they had nightmares for two years afterwards. And whether you believe it or not, your kids are listening to you. You may not think they're playing in the corner, they're doing this, but they're listening to mommy type on the computer, talk about things to her friends, stuff like that. That's how they could get that information. So the Lord wants you guys to stop putting all this junk on there about all this stuff that you don't know what you're talking about. And he hasn't told you to do it. And what you're doing is causing confusion and division in the body of Christ. We do know that the Lord is going to do something about this country because we're standing against Israel. Our president and our leaders are standing against Israel. Not all of them, but a few of them are. And that's going to bring judgment. So I want to encourage each one of you, and I want those people that are listening to this that aren't saved to think about salvation because the Lord is coming and your time is running out. So please repent. And you brothers and sisters quit fighting and you you who are doing these prophecies and stuff, stop doing them unless the Lord actually tells you, hey, you better do this. See? Because it may be just your little brain up there telling you to, to put this on the internet. You want to get a few more clicks on your site. Maybe get some more viewers. Maybe get a few more subscribers. What's the purpose of that? The only purpose to be on there is to try to get people saved. See? And the only reason I talk about some of these things is because I'm trying to show you that the Lord is coming. And He's telling you things telling me things to tell you so that you'll know he is coming so that's all that's it to that you know and uh, I encourage you to stay in God's Word to read it and uh, for yourself and pray when you have a vision or a dream pray say God is this from you anyway love you all I'm not trying to destroy anybody or hurt anybody I just want you to know the Lord isn't happy so you guys that are doing this knock it off and uh, I want each one of you to, you know, spend some time in prayer. And God bless you.